Hi, I'm Kay Hirai, and today I am so excited to be here to show you something that I've discovered for myself. And it's really about um, being able to take what you do and don't get rid of things because I've been cleaning up my craft room the last week. And uh, as some of you know that I do a daily art practice every morning. And so you could just imagine tons of stuff that I have around that I don't like. And I feel like, oh God, this was a failure. I better throw it away. So I found all these things and I was gathering them up and all of a sudden I realized, hey, if I throw these away, let's see if I could do something with them to make them useful. And so um, that's what I did. And um, I, the reason I feel really good about doing this is because, you know, um, the gift tags and cards and stationaries, that business has skyrocketed uh, since COVID started. And I know all the other businesses were dying and people weren't going out to eat, people weren't doing anything, except I read in a, one of the business magazines that people were, the business in cards and tags and stationaries just was um, skyrocketing because people were buying them to communicate with each other. And so um, I guess we can't think like, oh, it's only a card or it's only a tag because it is a multi-million dollar business in our country. And so um, they are very important. And if you know how to make some of these things, uh, if you know how to make your own cards and tags, it's really, um, you're doing something very valuable that you can contribute to society. So today, uh, I'm going to take you over to my desk and I'm going to show you what I found out and what I did about it. So here we are at my my little dining room table where I have my art things all set up. And um, gosh, let's see now, where can I start on this? First of all, I want you to know that, um, and I know that some of you um, probably have been doing this yourself because I, you know, everything I'm going to show you today uh, comes from the workshops and classes that I taught. And I know that all of you know how to make all these things. And if you don't, we have videos that show you what we did. So um, once, um, you know, you really, uh, every day, if you want to do something every day, and, and I always say, you know, you have to really practice. And so the things that you do, um, you just, you just think, I know, I think, oh my God, this was a big mistake. This is not good. And so I'll show you some of these things that I've collected. And um, so, you know, just even like practicing leaves and practicing these flowers, you know, to me, this looks terrible. I didn't like the colors of them. It just looks awful and messy. Um, I didn't care for it. And so I just had them all kind of piled in one corner of my room, craft room. And then when I started my search to, to find things that I'm gonna get rid of, I found all these things and there's more of this, believe me, but I had this whole box of things that um, I did and um, I didn't like. And so I thought, gee, you know, there must be something I could do with these. And so, and it's amazing when um, we look at our, the work that we do as, oh gosh, everything has to be perfect. But no, it doesn't because uh, I'll show you how you could make some of these pieces that you don't really care for um, into something that is really presentable and, and make things that people would just love to get from you. So um, let me start here. And, um, uh, and another thing too, is I wanted to show you, I just, I keep a whole box of things here. 
and these are all my flower practices and things like that. And I tried to make cards and I didn't like them. And so what I do is I just kind of cut them up into little pieces, you know, just cut the flowers out. And then um, maybe I made a mistake on the leaves or something, but uh, I just would cut everything out. Um, and then I just throw them in this box. So uh, you could see this box is filled with little things that I've done that I, they were just mistakes. And so you could even look at this and say, yeah, that's a, you know, mistake. So um, they're all kind of thrown in this box. Okay. Um, even this little big, ugly flower that I did that I thought, oh my God, this is terrible. So, um, and even to the tiny little flowers, I just don't miss anything. I've been just cutting them out and saving them. So um, to make a long story short, I'm going to show you what I have done. And what I did was um, uh, I made a, a little packet because I thought, you know, during the holidays or thanking people or birthdays, I think that people would just love getting a package of gift tags that you told them if you, you know, you tell them that these are my handmade gift tags I made for you. Now, wouldn't that make people really happy? And so what I did was I gathered about six of the things that I have, and I have tons of these things, right? So I just created a little uh, sheet of paper, colored paper to put into this, this plastic bag. And then I put in six cards or six tags, they're not cards, tags. So, so here's one, and then this is, came from a big sheet of uh, flowers that I was drawing, and um, I didn't know what to do with a big sheet of paper, so I just went and cut it up and made it into little tags, and they came out lovely. And then this actually is just something, it's just a piece of paper that I had. It's a piece of washi paper. I never really knew what to do with it. So it's not even thick. I just cut it and it was just this size paper I had. So I just fold it into half and then I put a little piece of um, paper inside so that people could write on it. And then uh, I punch a hole and I put a little cord on here. And you know, when you think of making something like this by itself, you think, gee, it's really not, you know, it's nothing special. But then if you start to include a couple of these things in here into your handmade work, it just, be, it just all fits in really nicely. So I guess what I'm trying to say is you don't have to put your artwork in everything. You know, every single thing doesn't have to be your own artwork. And I think that you could come up with all kinds of things that you could find and make it into some little things. So, you know, some of the things do not have to be your artwork. This is, a, this is a tag I made, um, and this is just one of the exercises. I think we've all done this together. We just, you're exercising with watercolor paints, and uh, it's just exercising drawing lines. And I found this, and I just put it into half, and I thought, wow, wouldn't this make a lovely, probably more of a masculine looking card for a man? Uh, this is, comes from, these leaves that you see that I was practicing. So I cut that on into a little tag. And then a um, couple of these, I just, um, I think that I was, it, I just draw on big sheets of paper and I just kind of cut them out. And, um, and I thought, wow, gee, they make wonderful little tags. And I stamped the little thing on the corner that says smile. So aren't these lovely? They're very, very simple, right? And we don't have to make everything so um, intricate and with so much design on it. And so here it is, a set of six tags that I'm making a whole bunch of these little packets because I wanna save them to give away as little thank yous or uh, just, it just, I mean, it's very handy to have these things, right? Because people would love to get them. It's because people love handmade. So another way to do this is remember us, we made these little uh, boxes from uh, grocery bags. 
Well, I had one that I made, so I thought, gee, what would, what about these tags? What about these tags and these boxes? And so, um, and then I just collected a whole bunch of stuff. I don't, I don't even really care for these, but put together in a little group, it's, they look very nice. And like, this is just a little fold out thing with a piece of washi paper on it. So I didn't even paint that. Uh, this is the same one that I showed you that goes in another packet, the, the practice sheet that we did. Um, another one is the leaf design. Uh, here's another one with flowers and it was just kind of overall um, on a big piece of paper that we, I think that you were with me. Yes, we did a workshop on these and we cut them out. And then uh, here's one that, um, just something that I was uh, trying to use up my leftover paint. And um, I just I just took that piece of paper and I took a cut a heart out of it. And then I put a little, little flower like thing that I know that I showed you how to make these about six months ago. But I, I just had one of those flowers in my box and I just took it and taped it and put a cute little ribbon on it. And now this is a nice little heart tag. And then when you put them all in here, it is just lovely because it fits perfectly. So here's one that I wanted to show you that um, this was a really awful, awful piece of artwork I did. I was trying to draw tulips and it was just kind of going across like this. And so I just kind of cut one off like this and cut another piece out. And then this thing here, you know, it, it, it just doesn't really look like it's finished. So I'm going to work on this. And one good thing about watercoloring is that you could save all these things and you could go ahead and, and touch them up later. You know, if once you do it, it doesn't mean that it's over. You could just pull all these pieces out and add things to it. And, and it's very easy to do. So um, going back to the boxes, uh, I would just put a lid on it. And then here's this little butterfly thing that I made. And I'm just gonna put that on here. And then uh, if you just wrap it up with just a real nice little ribbon, a little uh, ribbon with a little personality to it. And then you just wrap it up like this. And look at what a lovely gift that makes. And you could actually put anything you want inside of it. If you want to put a little tea bag or whatever, that's fine too. But anyway, um, so lovely, right? And it's so simple. I love the simplicity of this whole thing that we're doing because it is just not complicated. It's just so simple. And I know that you know how to do all these things because, um, we, you know, we worked on them and uh, I have a video that goes with every single thing that I'm showing you here, uh, even how to make the paper boxes. So, um, so this is lovely. I love it. See how simple it is. And, it, it, and you could come up with beautiful gifts. And if you wanted to, you could put in, um, a, you know, a little Starbucks card if you want to give more, but um, I just think that when somebody opens this up and see these cards, you know, tags, they would just love it. And you should, you know, they will know that it's made by you and it's all handmade. Okay, so let's go ahead and let me show you uh, some things that I've been doing because I know that I clicked all these things, but I feel like I need um, to still make a few little things. Uh, on my own. And so uh, I'm going to start by showing you maybe what I'm going to do with this. So that that tag is just not um, is it just looks like there's something missing. So let's go ahead and uh, finish that up. And let me see where's my little always need my little play. And so um, let me see here. I'll probably take a size eight brush 
then I would like to add, um, maybe I will add a, in here. What color would be nice? I'm just gonna go ahead and try, uh, uh, maybe I'll do kind of like a hot, kind of a bright pink. This is one thing why I just love watercolors because you could touch these up and finish them up years later even, and it just looks like you just did it. So I'm gonna take this pink and, and probably add just a, another tulip right here, like that. And then I'll take a little lilac or lavender color and There we go. And then I'm going to add a little, little leaf. There you go, now it's completely finished. And then maybe, I really like, always like drawing little dots. So I'm just gonna put a few little dots to kind of finish it off. So here are some pink dots. And then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and and do a little bit of little statement coming out. There we go. So here we had this little imperfect piece of thing that we you did and and if you really look at some of the, the tulip design, they're not very attractive um, that I did, but cut into a small tag and then adding a little nice little ribbon on top just would add so much to this. So cut that. And I'm thinking maybe a yellow little twine that I have might work out well. You'll add some color. Try not to touch it. I'm just gonna show you what the finish effect looks like. I always say it's all in the way that you package it and the way you dress it up. It's really way more than just you doing the watercolor. It's, it's what you could do to really bring out their beauty. So there you go. So there's a tag. I'm going to put it into that box. And then now that this is fall and I'm thinking, um, what can I, I wanted to, I wanted to, I got in a mood for making little tags. And I know that um, it has to be something really quick. You don't wanna go and, and get really involved in it. So. Um, let me see. I kind of wanted to do a one fall thing and I wanted to do, um, and I'll show you how to do a flower that you could do very, very quickly. And we'll just go ahead and use this pink, pink again. And then, um, oops. So I would just go up in the center, go out a couple times, center to out. Center, out, center, out. Okay. 
And I, I think that I could show you that, you know, once you get used to doing this real simple little drawing like this, you will, it, you will do it so fast. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of red, uh, purple and And just maybe outline a little bit. And that's it. That is just the simplest little flower. And then now you take green. And then you just go ahead and let me see, which way should it go? To draw a line. And then draw leaves. And that is just as simple as that. And, it, you know, it probably took me two minutes to make this. And if you could just kind of get in a rhythm of making the single flower, you'll have lots of tags and you can make it in different colors and different shapes. And um, so that's it to show you that, you, you know, this thing does not have to be lengthy or anything like that. And it could be very quickly done. And if you want to do, you know, like maybe I'll just put a few little lines in between there and that's it and then you punch a hole and you put a ribbon on top okay then uh now it is fall season and i thought gee i want to try making something that's kind of more like fall and so i was looking at um i had a here it is. So whenever I want ideas, I kind of look through magazines and uh, I just received this Crate and Barrel magazine. And I and, and of course, these stores are all very focused on time of the year. And I, I try to see what kind of things that they have. And they had lots of leaves and plants. And here's some fall, you know, leaves. Any of these you pick would be really good. But I got the idea to do something like that in a uh, tag. So I saw this and I thought, gee, I really like this. This is really, really very uh, willowy and very delicate looking. And I thought that would go really well uh, making it into a tag. So um, let me show you. So I tried making it. It only took me again, you know, maybe about five minutes to make this. And so I thought, gee, this will make a nice tag and just put one of these in there, you know, and along with the flower, along with the flower, you know, you could put one of these in there. So uh, it will be really nice. So I'm going to show you how I did that. And uh, I know that we practice doing really fine lines, and I think that's a really important thing to still practice. And I'm going to use a dark green. And I think I'm going to use something like, I don't know, sepia maybe. I'm not sure what the sepia does, but um, I wanted these branches. And so I'm gonna take a fine you know, brush and then I'm just gonna go ahead and try to kind of draw these branches curving, coming from the side. And then I was going to kind of draw some branches. And so you just go ahead and use your own however you want to do it, but you just go ahead and draw a bunch of branches on here. And then some things are just kind of coming off of it. And no rhyme, no reason. I'm just kind of 
when I go in with what I think. And maybe just making this a little crooked so it doesn't look so stiff. Okay, and then I might draw another one coming from down below. And this one has a little bit thicker trunk. And I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe swing this one to the side. All right, I think that's enough. And I'm now going to get a, a small brush. I'm just wondering. Now I'm going to uh, start putting some leaves on there. That would be, I'm gonna still use the same color green and then no, I think I'm going to start with a lighter green. Um, because in the fall, you think there's going to be some, lots of various different colors and leaves. So, um, and I might just add just a little bit of yellow, yellow to it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and just, just randomly kind of per brush leaves on here. And if you notice, I'm not even really making them look like leaves, but kind of like little pieces. Okay, so I drew enough of that. Now I'm gonna go for one with a little bit deeper color to give it some interest to the leaves. leaves. So I'm just kind of plunking little dots or lines here and there. So I say these are only like, you know, two to five minute art. Now I know that it's fall and leaves are turning. So I'm going to get some umber. Oh, and I guess this is called yellow okra and raw sienna. That should make the leaves look kind of green, yellow. Now I'm gonna start adding some this color leaves here and there to signify that some of the leaves are turning. Now I know you'll be able to do this because this is just no brainer. So don't put a lot of thought into it. Just make it very abstract. And then now I think I'm gonna add maybe, uh, maybe some bright orange in there might be kind of nice. So I might just go over some of these with little tips of orange. Some of them are by itself. You know, so I'm just kind of not really making any kind of a specific mark or anything. And I might just go over some of these areas here. And branches needs to be a little bit darker. 
dark green with maybe a little bit of brown. So now if you start adding some few little different colors in here, it'll make everything just come alive. It doesn't have to be all the branches, but just do some of it. Okay, so, and then, you know, you, know, you could just do, give it just like this. It's really lovely, just like this, right? You don't really need anything. Um, I added some orange circles in it because I kind of thought, hmm, maybe I'll give it some uh, interest to it. But I really actually like this card like this. And I would probably do something like a, um, hmm. I would probably add a ribbon on here. Okay, here I have olive green right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and punch a hole and then I will add all of this little fine ribbon to it. And this is a little bit too long, but I'm just gonna just leave it like this for now. Okay, so this is my fast project um, that I recommend for you to do. And uh, I love to see you come up with um, a nice little packet um, gift sets. You could use it for thank yous or holidays or anything you like, but it's just real powerful to have a bunch of these ready to go. So if you need them, uh, they're already for you. And another thing I wanted to show you was like when I finished, when I closed this off, I thought that it would be really nice to take one of these things that I have cut out and put it right on. Let me see here. Let me just choose one. I cut this out. And then you could just put that right on top of the package like that. And that just makes it look like million dollars, doesn't it? Once you just add these little touches to it and it has that very beautiful handmade look to it. So I recommend, you know, packaging it this way or use your brown paper bag boxes and put them in here and then give it like this. So what do you think? I think this is lovely and it doesn't really cost you any money to do something like this. And then you would just tie it up with a ribbon. Just put this little ribbon on top. And you have a lovely little box that you can give to people. All right. So, um, Thank you for um, coming along with me to uh, watch me do all these things. And so I hope that you could take all your leftover stuff and just look them over because I will guarantee that when you start cutting them up, they would look really great. So um, thank you. And um, I look forward to seeing some things that you make.